tried to heal it, but the wound didn't. Stop this at once! Why? You let that fight faster! <coughs> no, I tried to steal it! You'd have tried harder for a forester. My lord, please. No. I am the only lord who matters here. Roderick. Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. Actually, I think it's your turn. I don't think so, Roderick. God, <laughs> ah, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the Lord! What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! What are you waiting for? Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it! Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then, about humility... Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roose Bolton. You flay you, and your sister, and your own fucking family! Shut your bloody mouth, Grim! You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! All of you! What's it gonna be, Roderick? I'm not like you, Griff. You're right. You are a fucking coward. Find the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Coward! Bloody coward! Not reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Come on, Croft. You can do better than that. Ah! 
<laughs> you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed! You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Bristol, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Fuck Croft. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Veska. We're done talking. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You wanna help? I'm not going to do that! So what? You're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city? I was a slave! Here! In this fucking city! <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But it made you strong, didn't it? You say that like it makes it worth it. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. I know I'm not supposed to attend, 
But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. But I can't risk it. Oh, come on, Mira. Fine. Just stop making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone... Stop it! <laughs> What? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Telling the joke, remember? No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. 
I hear they've spared no expense. Let's not give you too much gossip. And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold. But I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira's interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. I was wondering what you could tell me about Lyman Lannister. Lyman? Really, that story is not appropriate for present company. That joke's getting a bit tired, don't you think? I wouldn't want you to think ill of someone you've never met. Don't be angry. Perhaps later, then. Perhaps another time. I should be going. 
Stay out of trouble, Vera. Hello again, Lady Mira. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? <laughs> you look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. 
for a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. I think you'll want to hear this. Hear what? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... You bloody traitor. You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. know where you're going. Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? 
Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. Free folk. Oh, this. Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. No, I'm uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. He'll be all right. Won't he? Ha! Ha! Oh! Stop! Please! You don't like <sighs> it? You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Kill them! Yeah, it's over. Just don't do it, Garrett. Let her go. Are those the last of our supplies. Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. <laughs> 